Welcome back to Fringe Watch on Channel 44. Um, hey, we should say this, uh, a lot of our set dressing and stuff has come from uh, the wonderful people at Classic Timber Furniture. If you see anything you like here, except for maybe Pat and Lana and myself, uh, you can get it at Classic Timber Furniture. So, or you could just come in here when there's no one here and just take just it. Take but it. please don't do that, because otherwise we'll be doing the last show with just wearing a barrel. Am I allowed to take the lemon tree? The lemon tree I is pretty lemon tree. good. It's fake lemons. Yeah. Lana, squeeze a lemon. You don't have to. When, yeah. Pat, when I life really wanted gives it you, to go. Psh, when, when life gives you, you fake break lemons. my lemon tree. Okay, right. We're, we're getting a bit possessive now. Uh, please welcome Lana Schwartz. She's doing a show and she's great. <laughs> hey, Lana. Thank you. Hi. We only get to see each other like once a year I and it's know. at festival time. I know. But thanks for coming back to Adelaide. But it's always a joy. Yeah, yeah, I know. I like to call Adelaide Satan's oven, but it's not this year. No. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because when we, when the first couple of times you came to Adelaide was when, when Fringe was at like 40 degree heat waves. It was like, uh, th the first time I came to Fringe, there was like three weeks of between 35 and 40 degrees, like non-stop. It was mm. this crazy heat wave. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm a ginger person. I'm going to just explode. <laughs> yeah, no outdoor yeah. shows for yeah, you. No. They, were, they were awful years. But yeah. um, it's nice now, isn't it? It's delightful. Welcome back. Thanks. Uh, so you're doing a show. And it got it got a theatre commendation last night in the Fringe Awards. I'm a little award yeah. winner. This is not the first award for the show, though. No. So uh, your show is Lovely Lady Lump. Tell lovely us a little Lump. about it. Correct. It's Lovely Lady Lump. I'm very glad you said Lovely Lady Lump and not Lovely Lady Lump, as most people say mm -hmm. it, because it's definitely funnier if it's just one lump. Can I can I show and, you that yeah. we actually had lumps oh. and then we had to ding it? And <laughs> then when I wrote down your show details, I also put lumps and then had to scribble it out. So yeah, I've yeah. Been told I, I blame Fergie. For that. Avoid the copyright image, the copyright issue. If you just oh, yeah. say lump rather than lumps, is that how you get around that? Oh, as in it's not the Fergie song? Yeah. Um, uh, no, I wouldn't have thought that she'd come after me anyway. But if <laughs> she's very litigious. If yeah. if I if she did, I'd just be like, so dude, litigious. you're coming after someone who's doing a show about yeah. breast cancer. Yeah. <laughs> Leave it alone. This is not your first copyright litigation, though. You were involved with the death of a salesman. Oh yes. And that got Correct. taken down. We totally got nixed by yeah. the Miller estate. It was amazing. Um, yeah, never, ever, ever, this would be my advice yeah. to everybody, never do any kind of satire on any play written by Arthur Miller. Right. Okay. You'll be shut down. Good to know. Yeah. Excellent. Tell us about your your show, though, that you're doing here. The current show. Yes. Uh, so this Lovely's is... Lovely's Ladies Lump. Yes. Uh, I've called it Lovely Lady Lump because mm -hmm. I'm clearly a lovely lady yes. and I don't have a lump anymore. Yeah. So hooray. <laughs> Kick it's cancer right in the genitals. In the butt. Um, so uh, yeah, it's a good luck uplifting story about surviving early breast cancer. Mm -hmm. um, I obviously do a comedy so I don't know why I said it would be obvious. It's Probably not obvious at this point. Um, <laughs> so I do, I do comedy. So uh, I approach it from a comics perspective, and and the first thought that you know when you first get diagnosed, re honestly, the first thought that ran through my mind was, I'm well, get a great show out of bleak this. doing my tax. Then, oh basically. right, okay. It was like yeah, you know, you, I sort of start thinking. But you're a performer in Australia. You don't have much yeah. of a tax. I I, pay, do I don't pay tax. Yeah. No, I do pay tax. <laughs> No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Under the table. Uh, under the table. Um, so yes, it's uh, it's one of those it's one of those like uplifting stories. So people hear that it's about breast cancer and they're like, oh, I don't think I want to, don't think I want to see that. But I approach it with such a unique perspective. Yes. And I've I grabbed my medical imaging, and we animated it and projected it onto my body. And you would have to be okay with a little bit of bare bosom as well. Mine. <laughs> Look how happy you are that you I get your I get to get my boobies out. All right. I know. Because you said to me, you said, oh, you might see a bit of boob. And, and then you're like, like, if you're, if there's that weird. And I was like, eh, but I didn't realise it was actually you. I thought it was like a photo or something. No, 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 no. It's actually me. And right. so I feel like I have to warn my friends. General yeah. public, I don't care. No. <laughs> there you go. Here they are. Um, yeah. But I feel like I have to warn my friends who, you know, who know me very well yeah. and don't want to, wouldn't necessarily want to see my boobies. Or maybe you've been wanting to see them the whole time. So. Well, I, you used to do a lot of that in your show, so Jess. Fake breast cancer, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, it's not fake, I, I understand. Uh, what do you mean, like, show my boobs out? Yeah, yeah. I, I did. Oh, I'm so glad I'm a better human now. 
You want to see him? You want to see him right now? No. Um, right, uh, so uh, here's the thing. I was actually, I've been trying to see it all week, but because of this show, I've been working like till super late and keep missing it. I was really going to see it tonight, but now you, you'll see me in the audience tonight. You'll be like, he only came because he confirmed he... that there would be boobs yeah. in the show. <laughs> That's right. So if I do get there tonight, please don't think I'm a weird No, creep. I would love to see you in the audience. Like, I love having You can look at mine later. And then yeah, that'll, that'll, that'll even it up. Yeah. There great. is a bit of puppetry in the show as well, right? There is a little bit, bit of puppetry. That's, that's, I'm that's, a the, that's the other double, part of your double threatness. Yeah. Where you, you worked, for, did you work for Sesame Street at some mm, point? Yes, oh, that's I pretty did. Nice. <laughs> I did, yeah. So I interned for them um, when I was 30. So that right. was good. 13 years ago now. You mean yeah. seven years mm. in the Prior. future? Yeah, yeah, in the future. Because you're already yes. like 23, right? Look That's... at me, I'm looking amazing. Yeah. Uh, so, and you've got a, a it, what, what's the puppet of in the show? Uh, I've got two puppets in the show. This is actually, uh, I normally do a lot more puppetry in the show, but there's mm -hmm. so much um, storytelling and so many jokes and things like that and animations that happen that I was actually only able to fit in two puppet scenes. Right. Um, one is uh, a, some puppet boobs. I've obviously made some talking puppet boobs. I feel boobs. like you're more of a 14 year old boy than I am. Maybe. You're a little... <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Right. I feel like I missed out on something. When yeah. I, so I'm making up, making up for it now. Um, and I also have... Uh, so my cancer is a receptive to estrogen, right? So um, that was one of the things that fed the cancer. So right. I've made a little puppet of estrogen. Oh my God, you're gonna love this story. Okay. okay. So I've made this puppet of estrogen that is very, cause she's estrogen, she's very curvy. Mm. She's a shadow puppet. Now right. when I did the show in Canada, I got a very terse email from a woman who accused me of making a racist scene because I had made my puppet black. Now, <laughs> <laughs> I will just let you know, uh, I didn't make my puppet black, science did, <laughs> right? It's a shadow puppet and right. it's, it's, it's black, there's not much I can do, <laughs> it's, it's just So it's they wanted like black. white lights, which would y ruin the shadow. It totally ruin the shadow. Um, and I think she was also like, then, then she kind of backtracked a little bit and I said, well, it's, a, it's actually a shadow puppet. and. Um, and she said, well, maybe maybe it was because, uh, you know, you made her with so much booty. Like she was very, you know, she was very like curvy. And I'm sitting there going, okay, now that's your racism. Yeah. Because I made her to be estrogen. And estrogen is obviously going to be curvy because she's estrogen. Yeah. If anything, you're sexist. Uh-huh. Mm. Uh <laughs> I have to think about yeah, that. Yeah, think about it yeah. as long as you need. <laughs> uh, right. So and so, um, when you when you've come to Adelaide for a number of years now, what have you? How have you seen the fringe change over time? Because when you came, it was a little oh, bit smaller. And... Gosh, when I the first ever time I came to mm -hmm. Adelaide Fringe, like the first ever time, I swear to God, the garden, the garden of unearthly delights. I was doing little spots in the garden, um, in the tiny, t uh, t what was it called, the tiny tent or something. Okay. Anyway, um, and. The garden was three tents, yeah. and the bar was milk crates on the grass. And so to see it the way it is now, it still blows my mind. Yeah. It still blows my mind. Um, but also, I remember it being much more dotted all the way mm. around the city. There were little venues all around the city, and you would have to go around. But now people are more sort of concentrated in um, in the garden areas. Yeah. I would encourage people to go outside of your garden comfort zone and check out some of the other Now, maybe venues. they should go to Gluttony, which is definitely not a garden, apparently. Oh uh, yeah, it's you don't kind want of a to, garden. Do you want it's people to go to Gluttony garden. or not? Yeah, I like, do. I want people to go to Gluttony. Because there's a show happening that you're there in is, Gluttony. Yeah, I am in the garden this to... year. I'm in the garden this year. Um, the previous years, I, I haven't been, but uh, this time I love Gluttony. <laughs> Please go and support everything in Gluttony, all of the shows, all of the All right, don't, the don't make it seem like it's you're doing it's anything now but an ad. nepotism. Yeah. yeah. Um, hey, we're going to play a game with you. This game is this is this is the show that I was going to do, but then I, I worked too hard to do a show. So this is called Trump's Bunker, right? And throughout uh, what, what what the show is, you you want to be involved in this as well. Okay. So when when fringe registration is is due, like Trump wasn't in yet, yeah. but he was a chance, and I was like, oh, that's ridiculous. But well, if that ever happens, what I'd like to do is a show where. Um, uh, each each uh, each performance, I've got a, a a bus for 20 people waiting outside to go to a bunker because Trump will get in and kill us all. Right. And the audience has to justify why they deserve a spot in the bus. So we're kind of retrofitting it into the show uh, with our guests on Fringe Watch this year. 
Why do you think that you guys should have a place in this bunker when the nuclear apocalypse happens? Because the world needs laughter. But that's, yeah, okay, but that's not going to work because <laughs> we already have Mickey D. You've got Udwai three and amazing, Georgie. yeah. yeah. And, so and at we, least we really Boo have can to... provide milk because she's, she, yeah, like, she's yeah, lactating. True. Yeah. Uh, Mickey D has SAS training and also does good omelettes. Yeah. Okay. And Georgie is a nurse. So yeah. what skills do you have, um, Pat McCaffrey, before we leave you in the wasteland? I can play like three chords on guitar. Okay. Like senior guy. All right. Busking and he does that. Okay. And I'm probably as good as him. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to, so what, what chords are they? Uh, I can play G, okay. C and A minor. Pat. So, uh, yeah. Oh, People love that. McCaffrey. <laughs> okay. What were they? C? Yeah. G, G and A minor. And A minor. Yeah. So I can probably play House of the Rising Sun. guitar. Sounds, no, that has heaps more than no, that. No, it doesn't. Okay. Mm. Lana, well, why? Well, don't take me then. Well, if I can't play... If I can't well, play at the anything. moment you're in because we've got enough space in the bus, but pretty soon I reckon you're going to okay. be gone. Yeah. Or right. if it's not a skill, um, but something that I have. Yes. Uh, okay, so I have the world's most lovable dog. <gasps> and of course... Your dog you, is amazing. My dog is amazing. Okay. All right. What's, what's if the we're in the bunker for longer than a year, he may not be around, <laughs> around for longer. But all the more yeah. room and food for us. Food, exactly. <laughs> oh, Lana Schwartz. <laughs> you has have the world's good dog. Dog. What's your dog's name? Tyson. Tyson. That's right. Tyson. And he's a he's a. Uh, he's a Labrador, Labrador. Okay, that's and the he's worst well writer. he's well known amongst all of the yes, all he's of lovely. The artists and, and yes. Yeah. I met okay. Tyson the other day and like I'm vegetarian but I was like carrying around a sausage just so Tyson would follow me. Oh, <laughs> I, didn't, at the pub. I didn't tell Tyson. I felt bad for like deceiving Tyson, but Oh Tyson's here. Tyson is in Adelaide. Oh great! Alright. Yeah. It's the first time I've brought my dog on tour and it's uh, awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. Okay. Well you guys are in the bunker for now. We might have to get rid of you because honestly they were a bit crap. Uh, <laughs> we have a double pass to give away to your show this Sunday, which is your, the last night of your show. It's the very last and night. And it's gonna be the last season um, in Australia, most probably of yeah, in the, it's, it's, it's the last fringe years. season, so it has been sold for Regional Arts Victoria okay. Touring, but right. the last fringe season, so it's your last opportunity to see, to see it under $20. Excellent, it got a uh, fringe uh, combination for, for theatre uh, last night, and um, it's really good, so go and see it. Uh, please thank Lana Schwartz, ladies and gentlemen. Yay! <laughs> uh, we're going away, and then we're coming back. So go away, and then come back. Actually, don't go anywhere, just sit there, and we'll be back in a second.